What is this Technicolor skull, Joseph? It's Bedlam, the game by Christopher Brookmeyer. Who's well, that? Don't know who that is. I'm gonna. You are an FPS man. I'm gonna recommend it easy, not because you're okay. not bad at it, but just get through fast. That's okay. I gotta stay humble. Oh no, my jacking arm. Oh my god, white oh, subtitles on a white room. We are a lady. Way to assume my gender. Shit, it's papyrus. You've been playing a lot of, like, Scottish games lately. Yeah, I was going to comment on that. that it's not the same VA from Wailing Heights, but it is weird that there's this very Irish-Scottish woman at the same time that is exclusively like an Irish cast. Japan is the way of the past. Now we make games in the UK. They're the hot new gaming islands. I'm going to make my own gaming island out of Belle Defiance bathwater. That's what it would float in. It would be made out of It's empty. my dick. Well, nothing could fit on your dick on account of the chronic smallness. The girth is unimaginable. I was going to say that the island could just be empty gamer grub tubes taped together. And I could fit my dick in them. Probably. I can't I don't wanna tell... Wait. How much of this is like on purpose and how much of this is Brendan making his own high school prom the way he wanted? Like, if your prom would have been Dune theme, would you have gone? Yes. Okay. Do we need to make a Dune prom for your birthday party this year? You wouldn't like it. Why wouldn't I like it? I think there's been a mistake. Go to hell. I'm not All right. <laughs> Because that's where Doom is. Okay. That's what the end guy would say. All right. For Mars. Oh. No. It's hell on Mars. Yeah. Unless you're playing Doom, hell on Earth. Where do you think that one's set? Mercury. Idiot. It's set on Mars. Just kidding. It's Earth. Doom, hell on Earth on Mars. That was salute. Oh, that's right, bumper. Goodbye, head. Are you sure about that? R1? Do you hold it? Press R1 to uh, see your trust. It says stand before him. Is there like a thing on the floor that you're supposed to stand on? Or is it all on? I, can, I, I, I think it's an R. Jesus Christ, game No, it's a trigger. Sorry. Make it's your, not the bumper. Make your font bigger. I think we're doing both. Can you hear it? Click, clack. Gortross, I just want to respect you. Mm -hmm. You need to take a step back? Are you too close? I wasn't allowed to salute Gortross. You were saluting him, you just didn't give a fuck. <laughs> Not That's allowed weird. to salute Gortross. That is super weird. Sorry, Gortross. I can't salute you. We Sony. tried. We tried, man. Uh, turn him off and on again. Hmm. Weird. All right. Okay. So Other I looked it up after I finished playing this. Yeah. And the reason this has by Christopher Burke Meyer in the title is he is an author who wrote a novel Bedlam, which I've not read yet. Um, about a VR scenario, whatever. So this is not, it's like in the same world as that. Yeah. So that's why his name's in it. He didn't actually, this is not like a one man person's art house indie game. One project. person banged a game together? Yeah. It is an actual studio team, but that's why his name's in the title. So, because it is the world. I would have been a lot more forgiving to this game if it would have just been one guy in a basement. So this is kind of like, uh, I guess it's really a guiding for his novel because uh -huh. some characters overlap, but it's yeah. not a retelling of it. Yeah. From what I've gathered, there's not a whole ton about it. And he is either Irish or Scottish, so. Usually he writes a uh, pulp noir style stuff, so he doesn't usually do sci-fi. That's my stripper name. 
Pulp noir. Pulp noir. That's pretty good. I don't know that I like the idea of pulp Maybe with my strippers. Yeah, I just eat a whole fucking egg. And then nerds buy my bath water. I could get your bath water for free. Nah. -uh. Unless you The like... nerds are gonna get here with their long, long straws. And they're gonna drink it all up. And there won't be any bath water for you. Jesus, okay, I'll say, uh, don't pass the line this time, because I did I, I did the jumping, because why would you not? But that's all I can tell. Oh. I don't know, oh. Gortross, your head. Um, that's what I was saying. Bye-bye, head. Gortross, your head. Oh, no. Your head. Where do you think she's from? Is it Belfast? Dear Michael Coynum, or whatever your name was, <laughs> why can't I salute Gortross? All I wanted to do was respect Gortross. Me and Gortross, we're gonna get tattoos of each other on our big old biceps. We're gonna take Gortross to do and prom. I could see you having a tattoo of like a pixelated spaceman. Named Gortross? Yeah. yeah. That makes sense. I mean, he really gets me, you know. You could get Gortross written across your entire chest. I could do that. In, like, pixel letters. Once, see, I'm holding out for those animated GIF tattoos of the e ink. Oh, yeah. So that I can get one of Megamine dabbing. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Those are coming a long way. Mm -hmm. What you could do is you could um, have it like a flip book all the way around your chest. That you can just like T pose and spin in a circle, and if you spin fast enough, then it'll animate. Uh huh. Maui's tattoos. Yeah. 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 You just like have her standing completely still on the front, and have her dabbing on like the back, and when you spin, she moves into the dab pose. It's a good party trick. Can't you just wait for all of those rich kids with their anime? Full body car stickers. I want to buy like a 2015 Prius in yeah. 2035 that's got a full Megamine body kit. I mean, why don't we just do that to the Mirage? Yeah. Yeah, we'll just get a full Megamine body kit. Really zazz it up. For the Mitsubishi Mirage. Your trust cannot be. So oh, fuck. Brian, you did it wrong. Why'd you salute Gortross so badly? See, this game could have been made better if it was the middle finger that had the knife. Yeah. And we could have yeah. made that fun Wolverine joke that everyone likes so much. I do remember that. It was the year 2000. It was a different yes, that was, time. Uh, see, part of the problem... Uh-oh. Loading gun module. Up and at them! I'm just gonna pretend that it's tribes. Yeah, man, use your thing longer. See, part of the problem is, uh, if Brown knows, but the war institute didn't have the controller. Yeah. Uh, the melee was obviously disabled to set up that joke where you accidentally kill him. Ah. So there was no way for me to test and prove that the buttons were working until ah. that exact moment. Oh, did they, like, intentionally turn off? the buttons so you had to bind it to kill him. No. I thought nothing, it was like a fun meta joke. Nothing quite like that. It was just more literally... Yeah, that would have been clever. The buttons yeah. didn't do anything. Until that moment. I know it might look like I'm just teasing them. I am. Oh, they have a black soldier. How diverse. Um, actually, they had lots of black soldiers in the Space Wars. They just don't tell you about it in space history. I'm dead. Because they spend all their time on Lando. Uh, oh, they're gonna make me redo all that shit as punishment. And there are options for like Amosis and sticky stuff. I don't know if you want that on or not. It's not so bad. No, I'm hard to break. Because I think it's on space. I don't know if that's possible. Seriously. If it is, yeah, it actually is. <laughs> you can turn on or whatever. And I also don't know if you pervert, inverted the aim or whatever. You do you. That would kill me. You just gotta up and at them a little more. I wasn't sure how much of a fuck I have to give. Yeah. Are they, a llama? they 
call me Bill Half-Life. Why do they call you that? Because this game is Half-Life. It's, it's like if Doom, like classic Doom, was both better and worse at the same time. And a little more cockney. Yeah. Same knickers. Better because it's like, oh, it's actual 3D instead of just magic approximating 3D. But worse because it's not Doom. Yeah, where's Doom at? I want that Doom VR. I could get that if you want. Hell yeah. What if there was a game where you were playing to find Doom? Like you're 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 calling all the best buys in town so you, that your mom can drive you to pick up a copy of Doom. It's like in the future and there's just like one original copy of Doom. You have to steal it from the Google Stadia 3.0 headquarters. Uh the Library of Congress needs it so yes. that they can preserve it forever are, and make copies. Are there games from the Library of Congress? I th yes. think okay. there are. Not a lot. I'm gonna look which up once. Yeah. Which is like uh, a sentence, but dumb. Well, so you have to, like, play this Doom-like game to find the last copy of Doom, and then once you find Chex it, Quest? you can just play it. You can just play Doom. I love Chex Quest. I don't know what that is. It was a free game that came in boxes of Chex, which was a Doom clone. Are you sure you're a 90s kid? I didn't eat plain Chex, because why would I eat non-Chex mixed Chex? Chex? You can cover your Chex in... Bell defines bathwater if you want, okay? There's a thousand and one uses for it. I actually don't want that, but it's good to know I have options. <laughs> oh, sorry, could you just put your hand out? Just. Oh, hold on. Rogues do it from behind! <laughs> sort of. His motion tracking is too good. Rogues do it from the side. Rogues do it from every direction. Is this a direct sack? Is he directly facing me? It is a direct attack. Rogues do it very quickly and in the dark, and you won't even really be able to tell that it happened. Yeah, that's uh. That's that's not a rape joke. That's a you're bad in bed joke. Okay. Just so we're all clear here. All right. We we weren't going in that direction. I was going. It's 2019. In a, yeah. No, we don't we don't do that on this show. That was more of an isn't in yet sort of joke. That's that's the joke. The best part is I was just focusing on Brendan shooting these guys. I never heard your joke, just your apology or yeah. explanation of it. Yeah, and she is a rape apologist. And I'm, don't I, tell uh, me that. I'm just going to imagine what you said. That's not in my Wikipedia page, so don't believe that. See, the nice thing about that is that if Brendan, right if Brendan wants to put it in there, he has to make me a Wikipedia page, and then I'm, I'm somebody. I'm important. No, Look at my not. wiki. Would you rather have a wiki page that is taken down by... With the notification of not relevance enough, or just not happening at all. Um. That would hurt my feelings. If not no worthy or whatever. Whatever they say, because I know I know there's like a way. Well, considering at this point, this page would be Lauren is a known rape apologist. <laughs> I mean, uh, I don't know. I can use your Batman picture. <laughs> So yeah, there's there's all sorts of variables here for me that most people wouldn't have to think about with their wikis. How do I reload? Uh, hold down square. Okay. It took me a while to figure that out for some reason, and uh, because because I'm no of, other game has done it that way. Nah, it's it's not terrible. It just uh, I was used to quick buttons, and because I'm one of those, if I shot a bullet and I'm not in cover and not fighting right now, I better reload. So it was driving me nuts having to wait for a full flip to be out. This is not me being like, oh yeah, name one. But really, what what is a game that uses like square to reload? Honestly, Kingdom Hearts. Ah yes, I forgot about that. There are I reload my duck with square. It was a square Enix joke. Oh. Oh, oh it was a thinker. In that See, I'm done. I was gonna say yes. there was that you section are. in the Toy Story world where you literally pilot a mech that's shooting things. Oh uh, yeah. Hey, what's Woody's stand? Uh. Is it not? Alive? You've got a friend in me. I mean, that makes it better. Fuck, that's good. I went with or dead or wanted dead or alive, whatever the cowboy song is. Uh. 
I'm gonna say big iron. Big enough. That's my stand. From the town of Lagofrio came a stranger one fine day. And he was Woody. 